social media has captured the private interactions between dealers and customers. The challenge for dealers is to actually be okay with this increased exposure, even if it's negative at times. I think overall, social media is, is very powerful at its core. What it does is um, capture a lot of private conversations that were ha happening in a very private way previously, things like phone calls and emails, and making them all very public um, for people to engage with. And you know, its popularity is, is obvious. Um, but what, what I believe will happen on the dealer side is that, you know, to date, dealers have been very closed in terms of how they interact with uh, potential and existing customers. But I think what they'll find is, is as they open up the gateways in those regards, um, all the good and bad, and I don't think uh, that anyone believes that social media has to be all good. Actually, I think for it to be good social media, there's got to be a certain element of it that is negative because that's what makes it real. Nobody is 100% positive about anything in, in, in the world. But I think as they do um, you know, make that move to uh, create a more open and honest environment, whether it's with how people interact with the new car buying process or how people interact with their service center, I think they'll find that people that are early to that game will build very large and engaged communities that will be really powerful for them in terms of building up, building their business. It will be ugly at times, of course, because I think what it'll do is expose uh, very publicly some of the weaknesses, but I think it'll give the advantage of, uh, number one, helping them address those problems quickly, but number two, building a, a, a transparent and, and, and trust-building community, which ultimately will really help them uh, build all the aspects of their business.